everybody. Today is Saturday, and when I woke up in the morning, I went to check on our butterflies like I always do. Guess what I found? Check that out. We have one. One actually hatched from its chrysalis um, and is here with us, and the others are getting really dark, which usually means that they're going to be out, so out soon too. And I've been watching them really closely all day today um, just to try to catch one so I can record it for you. Um, but I thought since today is a very special day for our butterflies, I would read you a special story called The Magic School Bus and the Butterfly Bunch. And I'd like to thank Scholastic for allowing me to read this to you today. Um, I really like the Magic School Bus stories, and I always wondered what it would be like to be able to teach like Miss Frizzle to take my class on these awesome adventures in a Magic School Bus. Um, but for now, all we can do is imagine that we can do those things and put ourselves in the story. Um, so here we go. The Magic School Bus and the Butterfly Bunch. It's fun to be in Miss Frizzle's class. We never know what will happen. But we do know one thing. When we go on a class trip, we take the Magic School Bus. Today we are starting something new. Class, what do you know about butterflies? Asks Miss Frizzle. Butterflies are beautiful. They are colorful. They are insects. Would you like to see a butterfly, asks the frizz. Let's take a trip. We get on the bus. All at once, it starts to change. Now it is a butterfly bus. Wow, the bus is a butterfly. We are fluttering around. Oh, so is my stomach. Class, we are at a butterfly garden, explains Miss Frizzle. It has many plants that butterflies like. The butterflies lay eggs. When the eggs hatch, they'll be caterpillars. Those butterflies love flowers. Those eggs are so small. We got pretty small too. All at once, the bus door opens. We jump out. Luckily, we have parachutes. We're landing on leaves. We're turning into eggs. Happy hatching. Soon we start to hatch. We are different kinds of caterpillars. We do not look the same, but we are all doing the same thing, eating. This leaf is yummy. My mom says to eat leafy greens. I don't think she means milkweed. Good thing we have soft skin, says the frizz. They stretch and grow as we get bigger like balloons. I can't stop eating. Hum, num, 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 num. When a balloon gets too big, it bursts. Uh-oh, I think I just burst. He didn't burst, boys and girls. We know that, right? He's just molting. Class, we are molting, says the frizz. That's when a caterpillar sheds its skin. Our old skin falls off. A bigger skin is underneath. Now we can eat more. We keep eating, we keep molting, we keep growing. Then we molt for the last time. Now we have a hard shell. And four out of our five caterpillars are in this stage right now, boys and girls. We're waiting. We are cozy in our shells. We go to sleep. As we sleep, our bodies change. We go through our last change. When we come out, we'll be butterflies. Our wings are still wet. We cannot fly. Class, dry your wings by flapping. Then what will happen? We'll just wing it. And our butterfly is still in the same spot that I saw it in many hours ago this morning. Um, and it's been every once in a while flapping its wings a little to get them nice and dry. I'm hungry again, says Wanda. How do butterflies eat their food, Ralphie asks. They drink it, the frizz answers. Look, the butterfly's mouth looks like a long tube. The tube works like a straw. The butterflies drink from flowers or rotting fruit. Can we have milkshakes instead? 
And this morning, when I saw that we had our butterfly, I took some cotton balls and soaked them in sugar water so that when our butterfly is ready to eat, um, it has something to eat. It will use its very long straw-like tube called its proboscis to drink the sugar water from the cotton balls. Watch out for that bird, calls Miss Frizzle. What, Arnold yells. Arnold is too far away, says Tim. He can't hear us. I don't want that bird to eat me. I can blend into this tree to hide. I can't hide. My colors are too bright. Bright colors warn birds we taste bad. What about Arnold? He isn't bright and he doesn't blend in. I can't watch, Phoebe cries. Arnold, look out, we all yell. He sees the bird, but he lands on a tree. The bird flies towards Arnold. Arnold opens his wings and the bird flies away. What happened? Arnold's wings have markings. They look like eyes. Just then we hear a honk. We fly to the bus. The wings of a buckeye butterfly look like owl's eyes. The bird thought he was an owl. Pretty cool adaptation, huh? We are kids again. Miss Frizzle drives us back to school. Did you know most birds are afraid of owls, Arnold? I know I was afraid of becoming bird food. That's a hoot. Back in the classroom, we draw pictures of our favorite butterflies. Butterflies go through a lot of changes. Miss Frizzle's dress changes a lot, too. That means another class trip is coming. Oh, not again. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed this story, boys and girls. Um, I'm hoping that very soon... The remaining four caterpillars will transform into beautiful butterflies, and when they do, I'll be sure to let you know. Until then, take care, enjoy your virtual field trip, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!